Uh, I don't like to straight away go to the drawing and read the drawing. Uh, if you work under a structural engineer, you will hear these terms, compression, tension. So if you know the concept, then you will not have any question in the back of your mind. These members are load transferring members. Columns and beams are what experiencing the stress. When you are lifting the dumbbell, you can feel the stress in your uh, biceps. Okay, I can compress like this, see? Or else I can pull apart, tension. Okay, think about abdominal crunch. If the force is like this, we call compression. Uh, Sear reinforcement like this, vertical. Normally it is 6 mm or 8 mm bar. I'll show you the real images when we are reading the drawing. If you understand the concept, you can work confidently. Before getting to the drawing, okay, uh, I don't like to straight away go to the drawing and uh, read the drawing. Why? In the sense, you will not understand the concept. Even as a draftsman, when you go through the drawing, uh, if you work under a structural engineer, you will hear these terms, compression, tension, uh, many terms. Okay, So, if you know the concept, then you will not have any question in the back of your mind. Right, you know, uh, when you are talking about the structural, I compared with the human body. Na? Can you remember, structure is something like our bone. Okay, where the load is transferred through the bones. Na? These members are load transferring members. So, for example, if you take these columns and beams, okay, so this is what? Transferring the load. So, it is experiencing the load. Na? One important thing, see, for example, if you have go to the gym, for example, dumbbell, when you are lifting the dumbbell, you can feel the stress in your uh, biceps. Understand? Okay, likewise, when the load is applied to these uh, uh, building members, Okay, like columns and beams, these columns and beams are what experiencing the stress. The building members like columns, this can bear up to certain amount of weight. But if you keep on increase, what happens? This will break, no? Understand? So everything has its limit. Uh, we have gone through last time what is the pressure and uh, the stress, no? See, for example, if you have a body like this, okay? Now, when you are applying the force over this area, what is the pressure? Pressure is what? Force over area. So now that is pressure. Now what is stress means? Stress. Okay, the pressure and uh, stress, these are same. But pressure we talk what? When it is applied externally to the surface. Okay, so pressure is applied only on the surface. But stress everywhere inside the body. We have many types of stress. Compression, tension, shear, torsion. Okay, what is compression? For example, if I take this whiteboard cleaner, okay, I can compress like this, see? Or else I can pull apart, tension. But if I do like this, okay, this side I'll push it down and this side upwards like this, see? Understand? That is what? Shear. And torsion is something like this, I'm twisting, see? I'm rotating this side and here I'm rotating opposite direction, twisting, see? So that is what torsion, understand? So, what happens is, when you are applying the force, it is changing its shape. Na? So, if you compress, sometimes uh, this may change its shape like this. Okay? Compressing. So, when you pull apart, it can be stretched out. This change in shape, uh, we call that as deformation. Deformation. It is changing in shape. Now, see, when I was trying the same thing, torsional or trying to give a bending force, to my hard disk, it didn't change its shape. But if I press harder, what happens? It will not bend, but suddenly it will break into two pieces. Na? But this is not breaking into two pieces. So, different material are acting in a different way. I'll, I'll come up with an interesting story for that. Uh, I'll take two materials. Okay, Everyone knows this. Na? Chocolates, the mass chocolates and the Kit Kat chocolate. If you try to apply the force like this to these two chocolates, Okay, so that will bend like this. Okay, but if you do the same thing to the Kit Kat, what happens? It will not bend, na? what happens? It will break into two pieces like this. So we call this as a ductile, ductile material and this is called as brittle material, ductile and brittle material. Now coming to the real time example, ductile, see, steel. Uh, for this, we have another example, see, glass. Now this is something like concrete, concrete also same. So this is the column, eh? concrete and this is what? Steel. Uh, there's a small gap here. Okay. So this gap we call what? Reinforcement cover. So sometimes we say RF for reinforcement cover. 
Why this cover is what? Why? That is the jacket. Because jacket for the steel. Because steel is not good for what? The fire, no? So concrete says, okay, don't worry, I will protect you. Okay, think about a abdominal crunch. We'll say this is the head of a person. Now for his abdominals, what happened? This is compressed. His back muscles are what? Stretched like this. Okay, so if you, if the force is like this, we call compression. If the forces are pulling out, we call tension. Okay. Now, if you check uh, this point, okay, think about these points, okay. I'll make this as simple A, B, C, and D. After bending, what has happened to this region? What has happened? The initial shape, if you check, see, that's a rectangle. I'll, I'll make like this, okay. That's a beam. Now, here, what has happened? See, the shape has changed, no? Now, what is this? This side goes up, this side goes down, this is shear. Okay, now if you have a reinforcement bar in here, we call this reinforcement as tension reinforcement. And this reinforcement bar, we call what? Shear reinforcement. So one way of uh, providing this uh, uh, shear reinforcement is something like this, of uh, providing those uh, shear reinforcement like this vertical. But say sometimes, in the mid, there is no shear, but yet we will provide what? Completely. Sometimes, at the end, we provide what? More shear links, like this, very closer. In the mid, a little bit far away. I will take a cross section here. We will say this is section XX. So, I will draw the cross section, but a little bit bigger, okay? Okay. So, now inside the beam, uh, we have at the bottom, we have a reinforcement. We saw that reinforcement like this. So that is what tension reinforcement. Na? Now this here, normally we make what? The vertical bars. But these vertical bars actually we call shear links. Okay, shear links. So those shear links I will draw like this. Eh? It is normally like this. Do you know this bar? Normally it is 8mm, 6mm or 8mm bar. I'll show you the real images when we are reading the drawing, but here you will get the concept idea. Now we'll say we make the form work and we make the concrete, the bars, and if you cast the concrete, what happens? This bar will fall down. Na? Understand? So you have two bars like this, then you are making a ring, ring like a bar. At the top there's no support. When you are casting the concrete, what happens? That will fall down. Na? So to hold that, we need another two bars. So at the top also, we have what? Another two bars. This bottom bars, okay, bottom two bars, we call these are what? Tension reinforcement. Again, the same, see here. Tension reinforcement, same. But at the top, we use this bar for what? For holding, na? for hanging purpose. To hang the shear link. So we call that as hanger bar. We call that as hanger. Hanger bar. But you know, there's another thing. For example, we'll say in a project, we have some load, but here we are getting very big compression force, very big compression force. Now, the concrete cannot handle the compression also, because we know the value in a maximum 60, but the con uh, steel is what? 400 or 500. The concrete now says what? Uh, what? Dear steel, I cannot handle the compression. Please support me. In that case, the bar is provided here to bear the load. In that case, the same bar we call what? Compression bar. Compression bar. Singly reinforced beam or doubly reinforced beam. We have reinforcement bar here. Uh, Still up. We call shear link. Now this is what? Singly reinforced beam. This is doubly reinforced beam. What is the difference? Can you identify the difference between these two? By looking at this, you cannot say. It is exactly same. Only the different is here the bottom two bars. Yes, exactly. Okay. So this bar is used for what? Tension only. And here also these two bars at the bottom, tension only. But here these two bars are used for what? I'll write it here. Hang. And these two bars are used for what? This is for compression. We call this as a double reinforcement beam. There is a single single reinforced beam. But by looking at the drawing, we cannot differentiate it. Right. So the idea is what? Uh, uh, being a draftsman, if you just go through the software only or else the drawing only, that is useless. Okay. 
so when you want to do go for this structural drawing or structural drafting you should know some concept the basic idea na if you understand the concept you can work confidently okay so when a structural engineer is talking these terms you know this okay so next time uh, when you go through go through the drawing so you'll understand the concept okay why this reinforcement is provided why they are calling this as a compression bar this as a tension bar here we are trying to understand the concept we are preparing ourselves to work with the structural engineers as a draftsman so i have some more topics to talk uh, with the concept okay uh, so maybe next class we hopefully we finish it off this concept the second thing is we'll read the drawing so when you are reading the drawing i'll show you the real time images also okay so real time site photographs and these things so you will get a complete idea uh, about the drawing and how it is uh, fixed in the real uh, field and you know the concept also here so with that knowledge only we'll move to what drafting okay same as we are learning what structure uh, architectural drawing na no? first we learn the concept the basics then we learn the tools uh, okay then uh, we go for what drafting